Hello everyone. Today we will try to perform geocoding and RTC processing in SNAP. So we will have the very uh, basic SAR processing demonstration in SNAP. And we will also have uh, the very basic briefs in Hive 3. So to talk about Sentinel-1, um, the most important one to note is Sentinel-1 has different operating modes. And mostly in land, uh, the IW mode is operated. Um, and the products are available in single polarization and dual polarization. So we have different data products, level zero, level one, and level two. Uh, in level one, we have SLC and GRD uh, types. And these two types are based on the availability of phase information. And uh, the size of GRD is little, uh, smaller than uh, SLC. And the use of this data depends upon its uh, applicabilities. So why we do uh, this pre-processing is that uh, there are certain drawbacks in SAR data, such as speckle noise uh, due to coherence, uh, the ground surface is viewed differently according to the incident angle of uh, micro radiation, and even the different topographic can have different impacts on the SAR data. So here's the basic steps uh, being highlighted uh, in the pre-processing. We load the data and apply root files. The process of radiometric calibration follows that, followed by mod looking. And uh, we have speckle filter. And after that, we have radiometric turn flattening, then geometric turn correction, and we convert linear to decibel. And we convert the data in other formats, and we do further analysis. The principal thing, again, is that we do this process to obtain the data that is um, that is ready for analysis. Uh, so uh, why we do this process and what steps are to be followed also depends on the uh, user expertise. So, uh, so along with uh, what and what's being done, uh, there is also need to understand and maybe that's the mastery towards it. And we also have these new terms uh, used very often. And we try to use it uh, once after understanding the process. So uh, I wouldn't be explaining each and every uh, words here. So let's uh, try to download the SAR data first. So we go to here, uh, sci-have.copernicus.eu, and we make sure we are logged in. And after that, we can choose uh, our area of interest, any area of interest it can be. And after that, we go to the um, filters. We choose the sensing period, start and index. And we uh, take the Sentinel-1 and we have set a certain parameters to be selected to the download and we download um, the data. So the process of downloading uh, is similar to Sentinel-1, Sentinel-2, and Sentinel-3. So I have already downloaded the data and uh, we are going to do the pre-processing in SNAP. So for opening the downloaded file, uh, we can just drag and drop the file here in the product explorer, or we can open from file and open product and go to the folder where the uh, file is located. So we do not need to extract the zip file. So as we, as we have seen, we have already uh, loaded the files and we can see bands, quick looks and other information about this data. Uh, for this purpose, uh, we are just trying to get acquainted ourselves with the steps. So we are not viewing the bands uh, for this demonstration. So as shown in the graph or uh, in the chart earlier, we are going to apply the orbit files. So for applying the orbit files, we go to raster, sorry, we go to radar, and then after we go to the uh, apply orbit file. So here uh, we have chosen the our min data, and we are going to leave all SCTs, and we hit the run. And it takes some time uh, to process, and we get this uh, file. I've already done all this process, so I have here 
the file. And you can, as you can see, we have uh, the extension added at the end of the file that is underscore ORB. So for the next step is calibrating, radiometric calibrating. We go to the radar and we go to the radiometric and calibrate. So for this process as also, we are going to leave the defaults. And here we have the Tom Sigma and Gamma. So this is uh, related to the uh, calibration, uh, the measure of calibration, and it depends upon the uh, engine's angle. So we tick mark the first one, and we're going to run the process. And it also takes some time. Um, so I've already done this process as well. And as you can see again, we have the extension added at the end of the file, that is underscore ORB and underscore CL. And after that, uh, we use a multi loop process. Um, and in the multi looking, we change the rectangle shaped image into the square shaped image. Um, however, for this process, we are not doing this one. And uh, if we really want to do the multi loop process, it's not that hard. We go to radar and we go to saw utilities, and you can see here multi looking. Uh, our next step is the speckle filtering. For speckle filtering, we go to radar and we go to the um, speckle filtering. And there are two types. Uh, so the we, we choose the first one, single product speckle filter. And in the processing parameters, we are going to choose the defined leave because it sets everything on default and we do not need to enter any types of parameters. So we hit the run. And again, I have already done this process. So now we see the underscore SPK at the end of the file. And finally, the next process is RTC processing. For this one, we go to radiometric and we go to radiometric train flattening. And what it does is it removes topographic setting. And we leave everything as default. And I have already done this process as well. So I load the data here and we get the underscore TF at the end. So finally, uh, for the projects, uh, we do the, we go to radar and we go to geometric and we go to terrain correction. And here we have range double chain correction. And why we do this process is that uh, we want to project uh, as map. So we're going to choose here UTM zone. Let me choose the UTM zone. Here it is UTM for us less WGS 84. And we hit the OK and we hit the run. So, for this process, also, I have already done this one. So, um, what we could have done uh, that is that we could have compared different results and see what has really changed. Uh, however, here, uh, my objective was to show uh, the process and to get acquainted. Uh, with the pre-processing steps. So after that, we get the final image and maybe at the bands, we can change it to um, linear to or from TV and we get this one, VH underscore TV. So this is a very, um, very basic steps in pre-processing. So to again, uh, see the same thing, um, to be export, uh, maybe let's say to be export in this process is that uh, we should be understanding why it's being done and how it's being done. Um, so for our help uh, in the menu, we have help and we go to help contents and there has uh, very good explanations of everything what we do. Um, so this is the you know basic thing uh, that you can start studying from help contents. And to extend further, we also can 
to all the star processing in cloud and it's free. So it uh, stands for Hybrid Pluggable Processing Pipeline, Hype 3. Um, for this, uh, we go to such.asf.alaska.edu. Uh, such and what we can do here is we select our area of interest. Uh, for example, I've already selected the area of interest. You can change uh, the area of interest as we like. And in the filters, we can choose different parameters. We can have um, selections from file type, remote, and things like that. And um, we can zoom to the scene. We can uh, add the scene files to download. And between these two icons, there is uh, this icon. And from this icon, we can do uh, we can add one SLC job. It's saying add one SLC job or add one GRD HD job. So if you click on the GRD HD job, it shows that job has been added to the queue. And if you click on the on demand, we go to on demand queue. So it also shows us some uh, terminologies. So we can choose gamma or, um, you know, it depends on the choices of the user. And after selecting the different parameters, you can do submit one job. And we also can write project name here. And I have selected submit one job. So it's been submitted. And in the on demand, we can go on submitted products and we can see all the uh, steps being done. Here, for example, we just uh, loaded the, uh, we just uh, asked for on demand product here and it's saying pending. And I had previously done other files as well. Um, and some have already been expired as well. And we go to, so we can download uh, after some time. It generally takes about 20 to 30 minutes, more or less. Uh, and so we can see here the file being processed. And this is the RCC gamma GRD HD file. And it's going to expire in 14 days and we can download it. So after downloading uh, this file, I have already downloaded one file as well. So after extracting the file, we see the different uh, mazes and the most uh, here, important one here is again BH and VV. And we can directly download uh, other similar files like that. And we can directly open these files into GIS software. So, um, so this was the very um, brief and uh, very basic demonstration of SAR processing and uh, the understanding of this uh, processing uh, is also a uh, means to understanding the SAR as well. So my items have also been in understanding them. Uh, I have, it was at least uh, helpful at some extent. So thank you for watching.